Hello Stampin' Friends! Thanks for joining me. Today I want to showcase a fun new Stampin' tool called the Stamparatus. Now the Stamparatus is a placement tool and it's available um, for reservations right now until December 30th. After December 30th um, you will not be able to get your hands on one of these tools until the new Stampin' Up! catalog comes out in June of 2018. So, so today I'm going to demonstrate how to use this new tool and I'm going to show you how to make this fun little Valentine's Day card. Um, so I'm going to use the Heart of Happiness stamp set and um, the uh, Love Sentiment from the Lovely Friends stamp set to make this card. Alright, so let me show you, uh, or I guess let me tell you a little bit about this tool. Um, so this is a stamp placement tool and basically it can be used with photopolymers um, or it can be used with the cling or the clear mount stamp sets. So it has um, it has a, a foam pad that you'll use. So we'll put this foam pad in when we're using the photopolymer stamp sets and then we'll take it out when we're using um, the cling foam <clears throat> excuse me, or the clear foam stamp sets. So on the back of the tool are some magnets and these magnets are uh, very strong so we're going to take those out one at a time. I'll show you how to how to do that when we get ready to stamp. And the very cool thing about this tool is it has two plates. So you put them on a 90 degree angle and they fit one on the top and one on the side. So it gives you more um, stamping room, I guess, or more options for stamping. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, to take them out, you just lift them straight out. You got to lift them at a 90 degree angle and take them out. So it's very cool. Easy to store. Um, lots of fun to play with. So let me show you. We're going to make that card. So let me bring that card back here. I'm going to make this card. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start out with, um, this is just a five, this is five by three and three quarter inches. It's just a piece of white cardstock. I'm going to grab the magnets from the back. So the magnets are very strong, so you want to make sure they don't touch each other. So I'm going to put one here, and then I'm going to grab the other one, and I'm going to put it down here on the bottom to hold this piece together. Alright, so then I'm going to get set up again, put my covers in. So put this one on here. I love this hinge design and I'm going to show you some fun things to do with that. Alright, now that I have my magnets positioned, I think I have them positioned correctly, now I can put my stamped image there wherever I want it, pick it up, with the plate and then I'm going to ink it up I'm going to just position that a little differently ink it up with my Melon Mambo ink and then I'm going to stamp and however you want to push down on the stamp you know you can use your whole hand or you can just push down with your fingers and then pick it up and you have a good stamped image. If you don't have a good stamped image you can always bring this back down and stamp it again. But I like the image so we'll go with that. Then I want to take um, some additional stamps so I'm going to take these little hearts. I'm going to add one there. Let's see, one like that. And I'm going to add one up here. And I'm going to switch to rose red for this. Except for this time, I'm going to bring this plate down and I'm going to pick up these stamped images. And then I'm going to ink them up with my rose red, which is a little bit darker. And then I will bring them down 
and we'll apply a little bit of pressure and let's see what we got perfect okay so I've got the three different hearts on there now I want to add the sentiment and so I'm gonna move these magnets a little bit so the way I want to add the sentiment is I want to, I want to stamp it all the way down like you see here so I'm gonna use these hinges on the side as a guide so I want to stamp probably right about here because I want I want it to be just above the heart now I'm gonna take my plate out and I'm gonna turn it around this is the super cool part I mean this whole thing is super cool but this was my favorite part so oh, I'm getting too excited so I have to pick up my stamp first so I'll pick up the love stamp and then I'm going to ink it up with black and then I'm going to stamp it down and there's one now I'm going to ink it up again now the cool thing about this stamparatus is it's hinged so I can just move the hinges down one so I just moved it down one notch I've already inked up my stamp and now I'm going to stamp this again and then you can see that I get the image right in the center of the heart. Now I'm going to ink it up one more time and then move the hinge down one more and then I'm going to stamp it a third time. So that's how I got the love 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 in the center of the card. How cool is that? And this is so fun. I just love being able to do this. Um, now, what else is cool about this is that you can continue to create cards that look identical to this. So, because I've already got the stamps already placed, all I need is another piece of paper. And I'll move my magnets over again. And now let's take this out. We'll flip it around, go back to the heart that I used in the beginning. And let's see, I want to ink it up with the Melon Mambo. So we'll ink that up, push that down. So you can see that just by creating that first one, now see here I got a little bit, missed a little bit right here. So let's get that on there. So by creating that first one, I already have my stamps all positioned to create this second card, or a third card, or a fourth card, depending on how many love cards I want to put together. So then I'll bring the hearts down, push down on those, and then we'll flip this around and we'll put the love sentiment on it again. So there's one. See how fun that is? And look, it's turning out exactly like the other one. There's the second one. And the third one. I'll just scoot that down and there we go super fun now look how easy it was to create two cards and I could keep going I could probably keep you here all day um, but I won't so anyways the Stamparatus is available for a reservation like I mentioned at the beginning from now until December 30th so I highly recommend um, based on what you've seen today, hopefully you've enjoyed it, but I highly recommend this stamping tool. Um, you know, I just got it. I'm sure there is a ton of things that I can do with it that I haven't even explored or figured out yet. But um, just being able to stamp things in the same position um, and create identical cards is just super fun and super cool to me. So... I hope you have an opportunity to go out and reserve one for yourself. 
Otherwise, um, this will be available in the new catalog starting next year in June. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial, and thanks so much for joining me today.